Hello everyone, welcome to Bisotech. Now in the previous video, we saw some of the concepts related to closed test. Now here in this video, we're gonna solve problems related to the same topic. So let's start. Each of the question passage will have multiple blanks and four answer choices for each blank. So it will be in the form of a passage with blanks. So we just have to make sure that every blank is filled and for each blank we will have four or five options. Out of these four options, select the word which might be the most appropriate one for the blank space. So the first paragraph that we have is here. So first step is to just read the passage and understand what are they actually talking about. What is the context of the passage? So let's read it. Today doing business is not easy for businessmen as they are not used to competition. In the past, they were selling whatever blank produced and at their desired price. But blank, the competition has increased over the years. Customers started to blank and choose. Imports have become blank available and that too at cheaper blank. So let's look into solving one by one all the blanks. So let's see the uh, options available for the first one. Okay, so let's just read these two lines again just to understand what con what option, which option will directly fit into the first blank. Today, doing business is not easy for businessmen as they are not used to competition. In the past, they were selling whatever dash produced. So he, then, it, they. So here, we are talking about businessmen and in the previous note, they have just mentioned they. So here, in the past, they were selling whatever dash proposed. So it cannot be a singular person. It is not he. It is not it because we're talking about businessman. It is not them. It is they. So whatever they produced. We've got a first blank. Today doing businessman business is not easy for businessmen as they are not used to competition. In the past, they were selling whatever they produced and at their desired price. So whatever they produced, they used to sell it before and based on the, uh, the price that they were actually planning for. So there goes the first sentence complete. Let's focus on the second blank. And the options are here. So this much is complete. So let's focus on this line. But dash the competition has increased over the years. Customers started to dash. So, so here there is a comparison like customers started to do something because the competition increased over, over the years. So these two statements are com compared with each other. So we have to just choose the proper one from the option. Can we just put with, but with the competition has increased over the years, customers started? No, because with is more of, uh, more of the meaning together. So with cannot be the answer because here we are comparing as. But as the competition has increased over the years, customers started to. So as is a word that we use for the comparison part. So this can be my answer. But when the competition has increased over the years, that cannot suit because it's not comparing only. But only the competition has increased. No, again, this um, leaves us with uh, a lot of confusion. If we use only, we cannot use. So the last option that we have is as. So probably that's the answer right but as the competition has increased over the years customers started to dash and choose so that's our next question we we'll look into that but so let's look into the option so we have uh, four options but but as the competition has increased over the years customers started to dash and choose so customers did something they are did they start to pick and choose, select and choose, want and choose, take and choose? The proper suitable answer that we can see here is pick and choose. So now the competition has increased. So that's why the customers are very careful and they're really uh, careful about their choice. So they pick, they'll pick and then they'll choose whatever uh, the um, 
whatever commodity that we are talking about. So pick is the correct answer A. Let's look into the fourth one. And the options are costly, not easily, hardly. So let's read it from the beginning. But as the competition has increased over the years, customers started to pick and choose. Imports have become dash available and that too at cheaper. So here we need to note this point and. So this statement is connected to this. So both should and means connecting the lines. So both should have the um, you know what same meaning they should mean the same so here we have some word called cheaper so there should be something that's uh, very much relatable to the word cheaper so costly not easily and hardly imports have become hardly available and that to a cheaper that's wrong imports have become costly available no we don't say that imports have become not available we don't say that too so imports have become easily available and that to it cheaper something so easily is the correct answer the last blank that's the uh, last blank for this particular paragraph so let's see imports have become easily available and that to at cheaper dash cheaper imports cheaper cost cheaper profits cheaper prices so here they're talking about money there is the imports it's easily available and that too they're getting it a very cheap uh, money so that's why it is prices the cheaper prices uh, it is readily available so the answer is prices that's the option d for us so yes this is how you need to go uh, by solving the closer test but uh, each sentence do not focus on each sentence just focus on the entire paragraph first understand and then move on with sentence there will be definitely uh, some connecting dots as we had and here we got to know that these two things are interconnected and we also had as because they're comparing two statements so just read the entire paragraph and try to understand so moving on the second paragraph that we have and let's just read it first if we have so many young people with good qualifications dash for a job how much how come there is a, such a dash of a good talent in the market millions of students graduate every year in india and enter the job market but in reality they are that's a third blank the bulk of our diploma vocational engineering and management graduates come from institutions that the fourth blank them poorly and are unable to assist them with good job opportunities on the other hand Organizations have a short-term focus on talent where buying existing talent seems easier than the last one, blank, in house. So let's get started. Okay, so the first blank says, if we have so many young people with good qualifications dash for a job, how come there is such a blank of a good talent in the market? So it is about young people applying uh, for a job and there is this uh, problem between for, from the college side and this problem from the organization side. So the people who are struggling is the students with good qualifications, with good talent, but are unemployed. So that's the issue that this paragraph is talking about. So here, if you see the first blank, if we have so many young people with good qualifications dash for a job, it is not wanting for a job. It's not trying for a job. It is waiting for a job because the second line connects. How come there is a good, ta how come there is such a, so this word maybe uh, means little, uh, probably, you know, um, a word suitable for this would be less amount of good talent in the market. So there are people who are waiting for the job. They are definitely applying. They're definitely wanting a trying, but they're, are people with good qualifications who are waiting for the job and how come there is such a uh, blank of a good talent in the market so the suitable word here is waiting and that's option c so with this we can also get into option num uh, blank number two but for that let's look into the options first we have scarcity that would be the suitable word dread no requirement no and less supply so we could have used less here but 
supply we don't uh, say that for a person who is having a good talent we don't call we don't refer a human being's talent as supply so that's the uh, definitely wrong answer so here that completes the statement if you read it com uh, read it from the beginning if we have so many young people with good qualifications waiting for a job how come there is such a scarcity of good talent in the market so that sounds right so option a is the correct answer scarcity of a good talent in the market done moving on to blank 3 let's look into the options fine so millions of students graduate every year in india and enter the job market but in reality they are dash so there are people millions of students graduate every year in india and they definitely enter the job market but in reality what happens to them <clears throat> are they uninterested no are they unemployable yes they are not of good quality no there are people who are of good quality dumb no they are not dumb so the only option that suits here is unemployable in reality millions of students graduate but hardly few countable numbers will get the job so the correct answer is unemployable which is option b done blank number four let's see The bulk of our diploma vocational engineering and management graduates come from institutions that dash them poorly and are unable to assist them with good job opportunities. So here again the link like we had for the previous one, it's and. So this, this line and unable to assist them with good job opportunities should be similar. So the hint here is use this line as the hint to find the uh, proper option so is it teach can we say that the uh, all the engineering and the diploma or uh, management graduates who come from different institutions will not teach will be teaching them poorly and teaching them poorly will it lead to good job opportunities no that's not right and also lecture and teaching also it means the same so give that lecture them poorly and are unable to assist good job opportunities again no because if you teach properly that person will be able to write the exams properly so teach lecturer will go that way but will not relate to good job opportunities because no company will be very much focused on the talent that the individual has not on the uh, some numbers that is written in your marks uh, marks sheet it is important just to get the criteria to enter into that company whenever it is um, a job that is happening in your campus itself. So let's see the next one prepare. Prepare can be uh, the answer because uh, they prepare them poorly and are they are not uh, able to assist them with good job opportunities. This can be the answer but the proper fit would be train. They don't train them properly and that's where that's why we can say related to this line that's why they are unable to assist them with good job opportunities so if training has been done clearly based on all the skills or probably soft skills and the aptitude part then they will definitely get good job opportunities done so that's the word train that's blank four and the last one Okay, so the bulk of our diploma vocational uh, engineering and management graduates come from institutions that train them poorly and are unable to assist them with good job opportunities. On the other hand, organizations have a short term focus on talent where buying existing talent seems easier than dash in house. In house means they're talking about their own organization. So, what's the word? Uh, is it building, teaching, preparing, or studying? Studying has no connection with uh, organization so that's not the uh, word preparing in-house no teaching in-house no building suits the uh, blank so let's see what's the correct answer it's building so they just mean that they have a very short term focus on talent where they think that you now buying existing talent will be easier than building it in their own organization so uh, that's that completes the entire paragraph so this is how you need to solve the closed test it will be just be a paragraph with five or six blanks sometimes ten blanks 
and with for each blank you will have four words you just have to try and match don't just look for the word that matches that sentence look for the nearer sentence that's there and see whether this is a proper fit for the blank that's given in the paragraph i hope you have understood uh, the two paragraphs that we just explained so in the next video we'll cover more problems thank you so much for watching